welcome to Biomedical Equipment Service Company, otherwise known as BMES. Today here at BMES we're going to show you how to program your Apex Pro CH transmitters using a tool that should be loaded onto your desktop or laptop computer. Okay, after you've installed your programming device, an icon like this will appear on your screen. You should double click that, select the appropriate transmitter that you're working on, which in this case is Apex Pro CH. COM port 1, that's where we have our tool plugged in with the serial cable. Hit OK. In this box, you will have to enter a patient name, even if it's a generic patient like ours, patient. Be sure it's entered and highlighted. Hit OK. This is the programming screen that will pop up after you've uh, clicked on your patient. So you'll put the batteries in your transmitter. Hook your transmitter into your box through the port on top and at this point you'll see the lights start to flash on your transmitter that means they are talking. So we'll let them talk and shortly thereafter you're going to see your information pop up on your info screen here. On this screen um, while it's communicating you have an opportunity to reset your TTX ID. You can change your reference leads you can set your pause time if your transmitter uh, will shut off if it's no activity after X amount of minutes and you can even go as far as to reset and clear failures if they should pop up in your power up self test statuses so first on uh, TTX ID you just click enter in your appropriate TTX hit OK and that'll change in a few seconds if you need to get to clear failures, get into deeper programming, you go over here to your right hand lower corner with this little clock. Click on it, enter in a password which is MMS underscore APS. Enter in and you can see that you have a little more uh, detailed programming that comes up on your screen. Here you can download your EEPROM code. If you've lost complete information, you can click this and it will clear it out and reload. On your serial number, if you ever have a, a need to change that serial number, you can do that there. And on your clear failures, if any of your self-tests pop up a fail, before you would send that into service, my recommendation is to try to clear those out yourself. So you'd press your clear failures. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. If it remains a fail, you have more issues and probably sending it in for service is a good idea. But if not and you've cleared it, then this programming kit has paid off for you. No service at this time. But if you need further instruction or any other help on this, we are here to take your calls. And um, I guess we'll see you on that next video. Thanks.